the beginning. Has anyone ever seen violence happen? Has anyone ever seen a fight? Has anyone ever seen situations happening? What are they like? What are they like? Messy. They're messy, aren't they? They're messy. There's very little like you see in the movies. They're actually almost disappointing, aren't they? They're actually disappointing. Like you just see, you think these guys are going to go at it, and then next minute just, just punches just flying, people slipping. But one of the biggest things that most people don't understand is that fights or assaults happen way before you know about it. Particularly if you're not looking to be involved in an assault. If you're two guys and you both go out to meet in the backyard or, or back lane somewhere to have a fight, that's a very different story. You're setting up something. That's not self-defense and I'm afraid that's a, something that's outside, outside of what we focus on, right? What we're talking about is a normal person going about their life, going to their car, going out, like just coming home, being at work, and somebody sets out to harm them. People see the world in different ways, and the shock often is because you don't see the world the same way as your attacker saw it, which to, me, to you, when their attack comes, to them that's normal, to them that's the way they do things. To you, this is like an alien, okay? And that means oftentimes the fight is over before you ever get into it, because you don't have that frame. So. How do we deal with this? It's a complicated scenario. So one of the things that is very, very common about assaults is that in order for someone to assault you, they have to be able to hit you. So in order to be able to hit you, what do they need? <coughs> I need proximity, I need space. But the other thing I often need is surprise. I need to get an advantage. So what you'll see oftentimes, my, my turn back with Chenzi here now, what you'll often see is times is, say two guys confront each other, maybe it's over a beer, over a girl, and to get out, oftentimes guys will come in and they'll go, what, what are you going on, dude? What's the, what's the fucking problem? What are, you fucking, what are you fucking on about, man? What's your fucking problem, man? Right? And then they'll, they'll get into abuse of space. A, a woman out in the street might often see, might walk in the street and see a guy get, just get too close to her. He might literally just go, hey, excuse me, could I have some change? How can I help you? Or can you help me? And he just gets too, has anyone ever, any of these ladies, any women here ever met guys who just get too close to people, have you? Yes. Tell me, <laughs> tell me, tell me this though. Do you think those guys, oftentimes women will say, oh, those guys just don't understand personal space. But what's the truth? You said it there? They do, don't they? They know exactly what they're doing, don't they, Liz? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so space, so space is one of those things. And on an attacker, a guy might get space, he'll abuse that space. You maybe get a bit of kind of toing and froing going on, but oftentimes he's just getting ready for the clock. Like he's just getting ready to get in here, he's positioning himself so he's so close, so when he attacks, you actually can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it because he's so close to you that that attack appears like a surprise. So yes, it looks like it came out of nowhere when I attacked Chenzi there, but did it come out of nowhere? Of course not. It came out of my original behavior at the beginning. It came out about how space, how I used and abused and set up space. It came up how I enraged myself, how I used him, my, my, my kind of uh, tactics. And I used kind of pumping up actions to get myself into a point where I would attack. Now, and then of course, there are some people who just do this for a living. These are guys who are just mechanical. They literally go out and take stuff from people. They just <coughs> literally can go up and how's it going, mate? Bam! And just take you out because that's what they do every day. So it's a challenge. But ultimately what we know, John, is that a key predictor of violence is abuse of space.